everybody. Today we're going to be covering the new Valentine's Day events that have entered the game. So with that, let's jump right in. So the first thing you want to do is click this little button down here with the teddy bears and the roses. In here you will be able to see the Season for Love event. Uh, this is kind of what I call the second event. So we're going to go over to the first event, which is Then I Met You. So here are your daily tasks. Perform these tasks and you will get these hearts. These hearts help you level up in that first event that I sh you saw. And then these heart tokens are kind of a way to go around a Monopoly-like board that's in the other tab here. Uh, make sure up top here you unlock these premium rewards. Definitely always worth it. And all you have to do on this screen is claim these. These are daily tasks, so make sure you do them all every day to maximize your uh, outcome of this event. Then once you have done your daily task, you'll come in here. This is like a pioneer trail type event where as you um, as you get those hearts, you will move down the meter and all you have to do for those is to unlock them. You'll see down at the bottom as once you hit 4,000, that's kind of the last tiered reward at 4,500 and every 500 after that, you will get one premium recruit voucher and two rare skill chests from there. You will come over to this. This is a Monopoly board. Basically how it works is you go around the board and you collect the rewards. You can click on the various tiles, which I suggest you do because there's actually something for just clicking on a tile to see. Um, and your ultimate goal is to land on this first square if you're after the tickets. If you're after other various things and you're just trying to collect everything as fast as possible, go around the board as many times as you want, as fast as you can. And I'll explain the difference here in a second, but if that, that'll give you the most rewards. Whereas if you're trying to get the tickets, you want to land on this first square because you'll see this first square at level one is 20. And if we find the other tickets, uh, I forget where they always are. Sorry. You'll see another level one square is only four. Um, here's another one that's only four. So that one's worth five times as much if you land on it. So how this works is if you're trying to land on that first square, what you do is you do this two times roll and you get to within six spots. So you, you want to get it down. So you have one dice. So one, two, three, four, this will be five. Cause you want to land there six. So once you're within that range, you only want to roll one dice to improve your odds. If you're rolling two dice and you're within your range, you're going to blow by that more times than not, just based upon the RNG of a dice, which is currently, if you're rolling one dice, it's one out of six. If you're rolling two dice, it's one out of 36, or sorry, I guess it, there's more chances to get the five, but you gotta think of it that way is there's not as many chances, it's less than one sixth. So, um, and if you're curious, it's two, four out of 36 to roll a five. So um, you're going down to one ninth, so you have a one in nine chance if you're in there and you roll two dice, if you're on that fifth square, or if you're roll one dice, it's a one in six chance. So you can see that the odds are slightly better. And that's why I suggest getting to that area and then doing that. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit roll two and you're going to try to travel around the board as fast as possible. Uh, once you go around the board a couple of times, there is a skip animation button, but you kind of have to deal with it as it goes. And you'll see that the tiles do upgrade. So the more you land on them, you'll see that zero out of one on them or zero out of five or whatever it may be. The more you land on them, the more it upgrades and the better rewards you get. So now we are within that six uh, tile space that I was mentioning. So now we want to roll just one dice. So again, we're going to be within that six tile space. We're still within that six tile space, so now you will want to roll the one dice again, and we went by it, which is fine. That's going to happen. It's still one in six chance to have gotten that. Instead of to roll a two from that spot, you have a one in 36 chance because you can only roll two, a double snake eyes. So um, now we're going to try to get around the board as fast as we can again, and you keep going, doing the same process to try to get that. Uh, landing on this box thing does not yield very good rewards. So this one has two gold shards. So it's not really worth trying to land on that. If you land on it, that's awesome as you're going around. It's kind of bonus rewards, but 
it's not anything that you should be t trying to target to land on. So that's kind of my take on that. And you'll see just now the two times speed button below it takes two over here did come up. Oops, sorry, I gotta click that first. So you can click on that and now it will go a lot faster. And let's see, so we are one, two, three, four, five, six. So now if we get a six, we're gonna land on that spot. So we're gonna only roll one dice. So we got a four here and we're still can get one through six and now we got a three. So landing on that next square isn't that bad either, just so everybody knows, because that is the gold shard square. Um, and every time you pass go, I don't know if you guys have seen it, you get three random squares You get the, to collect them. So that's what I mean by if you go around a lot more, you get a lot more rewards because if you just roll two dice all the time, you'll still land on that first square. It's just not as frequent, but you'll get more of the other rewards. So if you're after things to level up, you're after components, you're after rare skills and the skill chest, you'll get that stuff, but it's kind of a slow thing. Um, something to note that's different than most of these events is there's this button right here that says it takes two. What you can do is you can invite somebody to join with you. And once you have invited them, your laps get totaled together and you will unlock these rewards as you go. So there is a hundred vouchers at the end. So definitely make sure you find somebody to do this with because it will give you that um, hundred tickets for free. Uh, the last thing is the store. So in the store, you have your normal stuff. Um, this has these three decos. So you have the decreased damage, the increased attack, and the all unit HP. So you can get one of three, or you can directly buy them. Um, something to note, obviously the de decreased damage is at 20% and the other two are 40. Um, if that holds true, I don't know. I'm, obviously you guys are seeing me do this live before I've had a chance to test things, so I don't know. Otherwise, you can buy them for ch similar price for the other two here, but you can definitely get a huge discount if you were to get that from that box. You have an orange equipment chest that doesn't include the jammer. Um, some things that are underrated, I really feel, are actually these mastery research. We've noticed how expensive these are to actually buy. So if you're trying to get your mastery up, using your tickets to get these really isn't a bad thing. And also the skill charts, shard chests, these usually have a pretty good payout for only 20 tickets. So definitely worth grabbing those too if you are so inclined and you're trying to work on your hero skills, your hero exclusive skills. So um, the base is an army base. Um, I don't think it's really the new meta base that army needs to be using, but definitely worth the extra 50% HP if you are army to try to get this. I'm not army. So I'm up in the air if I'm going to get this, or I'm going to go after other things like the equipment or the mastery research, because I'm really trying to work on my mastery right now. But um, if you're kind of a semi-big spender, definitely always worth getting every skin you can, just because you have all three marches and you need all the stats that you can, and a 50% army HP is kind of a nice boost to your stats. So um, with that, I'm going to end this here. Please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy my content, and see ya!